It's nice to have you, Dr. Fadil Yusuf, uh, with us about his uh, uh, article that he published with the journal. Uh, the title of the uh, article was uh, Awareness of Radiation Protection and Common Radiation Dose Levels Among Healthcare Workers. Dr. Khalid, uh, we'd like to ask you some question about your uh, beautiful and uh, uh, excellent article. Uh, the first question in my mind was, as a researcher, why is it crucial to assess awareness and knowledge about common radiological examination doses among healthcare workers? In other words, why did you carry out this important study? Go ahead, Dr. Khalid. Thank you very much, Dr. Basel, and uh, it is uh, uh, an honor to have the journal uh, interview me about this article. I am glad it has uh, received uh, positive feedback from you guys, and I'm happy to answer the question. So regarding your first question is um, the importance of this study stems from uh, the fact that access to ordering radiological examinations that exposes patients to a significant amount of radiation has become widely available for physicians from different disciplines, and those physicians might have different level of background and different levels of awareness. So awareness of the magnitude of radiation involved and the risks that is associated with it is of paramount importance in order to ensure safety of our patient and choosing wisely the orders for diagnostics that serves the patient to efficiently without jeopardizing their safety. That's an excellent answer. So this is, I mean, that's why it's really important to raise awareness and knowledge level among uh, the different healthcare worker teams. My second question to you, Dr. Fahd, is what's the differences between awareness and knowledge? Do you think they represent the same concept? No, there is a difference between them. So in my opinion, awareness is more of uh, perceiving and feeling, while knowledge is more related to facts and information. So in, in our study, we examined both. We had uh, parts of the questions examining the healthcare provider perceived level of understanding about radiation risks, and another set of questions that are related to those levels from specific examinations or specific radiological procedures to test their factual knowledge. So our study, I, we're hoping that, uh, you know, shed some light on both the awareness as well as the knowledge of the healthcare workers. So in terms of, we are going to use that for health policy makers knowledge need to be increased ahead of time before we can internalize it so that can be awareness. So knowledge is really needed in deep so that they can really know what they are doing with these uh, radiological uh, components. Absolutely. My third question to you, Dr. Khair, is what, what are the main results of the current study and what that you think can be capitalized for future research? I mean, is there anything in, in your findings that you think it can be used or researched again and again for future research? Sure, yeah. So I, I think this study can be expanded definitely to include more hospitals from different regions within the, our country. And we can also examine the differences in the level of awareness and knowledge between different specialties. Uh, in our study, we did not actually uh, differentiate or we did not segregate different specialties, but definitely uh, there is room for investigating the level of awareness and knowledge because some specialties, they use you know, radi um, radiological examination far more heavily than others. And you would think that this will reflect in their level of awareness and knowledge, um, but that needs to be 
you know, uh, scientifically proven and examined by um, dedicated research. So what you are saying that we need to go for more different groups to focus on different groups at the same time. And then Absolutely. we can capitalize that with using uh, a large sample from different hospitals and places that utilizes these uh, radi radiological uh, components. Absolutely, yes. My uh, fourth question for you, Dr. Khal, based on the study results, what will be the best action study result plan for the next step? Sure. So uh, the the most important, I think, and immediate uh, uh, action that hospital need to do is to arrange for a hospital wide awareness programs. Uh, tackling specific areas of deficiency in terms of awareness. So, for example, you know, areas where there is lack of knowledge about who are uh, vulnerable, more, more vulnerable for radiation risks and which group of population that are more at risk. Uh, um, also, which modality exposes patients to highest amount of radiation. All those need to be um uh, the the hospital staff needs to be made aware and the awareness programs need to be done on a regular basis so that when you have um you know a new group of physicians coming in be it um, you know residents or trainees they are um immediately um t you know uh, targeted with these awareness programs so we make sure that all uh, staff in the hospital are at um, a sufficient level of uh, knowledge and awareness about the radiation risks, particularly, uh, you know, bearing in mind that, as I said, the access to radiological examination are becoming very wide and available for even junior residents nowadays. And uh, what about other health workers? Absolutely, yeah. So, like uh, denta dentists and uh, uh, anesthesia technician and uh, orthopedic technician, cast technician, all those. So, I when I say healthcare workers, even though I maybe um, focused on the physician, but because they have the uh, privilege to order radiological examinations, but all other healthcare workers need to be also. Um, made aware and um, made knowledgeable about radiation risks and how what they, they can do to uh, protect themselves from radiation and protect the people around them and protect the patients for that matter. That's great, sounds great. So that you are talking about uh, maybe to have any place or within every hospital and internal training program that target each uh, different group in a different way, depending on their usage of these uh, components, radiological components. Is there anything else, Dr. Khal, that you would like to add uh, about your uh, study? Right. Uh, so uh, the in in this part of our uh, of the world in our region, I think there is a, a great need for uh, you know similar studies that examine the or shed lights on the deficiency in terms of knowledge and awareness. And I think uh, when we design future programs for uh, educating and um, uh, teaching our staff about radiation uh, safety, uh, it better be based on fact or based on um, a knowledge gap that we identify and we can only identify it through uh, these similar studies that identify where the knowledge gap is and design your uh, the education and awareness programs accordingly. I think what you are saying is great, Dr. Had, and it's really, I enjoyed reading this article, uh, particularly when the way you did the assessment for the, the knowledge and awareness of the healthcare workers and the ambition that you had within so that you can uh, maybe improve the health practice and uh, 
And the way you are looking now, I'm telling you that needs to be interdisciplinary so that it can be effective and to minimize any kind of risk people can be exposed to at uh, any health setting. Uh, Dr. Khaled, it was a joy. It's a joy to talk to you and thank you for shedding light on your uh, really beautiful article. Hopefully people will, uh, will do the same studies in different places in Saudi Arabia or maybe in the region or in the area. Uh, Hopefully we can meet again, Dr. Khal. Well, thank you very much for this uh, for this interview. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you for having me, Dr. Basil.